goals in mind, but the heart of the desert was not on your side. After quickly agreeing on bringing back your lost companion, Horacus shooed you away. While Irelisir herself is a generous host and caring mother of her own kind, even in death, he would need quiet to perform the ritual required. It will be difficult to pers persuade the soul to go to the White Mother instead of the Mad Creator herself, he mumbles, somewhere among his continued praises for the supposedly first White Dragon, and how she, she is going to judge all those who wronged Horekus once the cold is returned to the world. It should, however, not take more than a couple of days to do the deed. Not far from the unrelenting and paradoxical cold lies the camp of the Outsider. She has listened to your attempts to persuade her and given you a simple task to prove that you are not on Sunta's side. During the night of the full moon, interrupt a blue dragon's posturing and raiding and capture it for questioning. The female dragon has proven to be predictable in her arrogance and should not be difficult to surprise. It is currently the evening of the 9th of Callistra, with the night of the full moon being on the 14th. And you are still at the outsider's camp. So the, Let me kick from the, server. the often asked question, what do you do? Be kicked from the server, please. Well, we have a week until we need to be here again, so uh, we could go and raid the uh, sun, sun we people's still camp again. Need to wait for Inorx to return, though. I mean, I, I I don't think she even knows where this place is. We left a note. You did leave a note. I didn't get a note, though. You did get a note. No, I didn't. You you, you will have gotten a note. Oh, you, when you said there was no note. I I, that there was a note. It was difficult to find buried under all the sand. Did, what? Did, did, did that we crazy tossed it dude's... into the cavern. <laughs> yeah, it, it flew out. Oh. Did that old <laughs> oh. dude take it or use He's his He's tried to thing? hide it so you'd never get out. Yeah. Oh my god, he just never shuts up. I do need a wife. It is, however, still the same day that you essentially left the, oh. the, the tomb, meaning that Inovox wouldn't quite be back alive yet. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just brilliant, isn't it? Uh, well, I mean, we're going to stay by this little oasis here. That's a good spot. That's where she's going to come find us. Mm. Uh, so I guess in the meantime, we could roam the, the areas. We could, we could, or we could visit the beast strangles or something. But I'd rather do that with Inovox also there. Uh, not take too much time just doing that sort of thing. We could try to roam these areas. Like there might be something out here somewhere. Just flying around, then going back home to sleep and rest under the water. You know. And our range is quite limited on how how many hexes we can fly out, but yeah, we can fly like two and then back without too much trouble, probably. If you take traveling a bit slower, it would also mean that the heat wouldn't quite get as much to you. Mm -hmm. So you could just leisurely fly around and explore, yeah. that is certainly an option. We, we want to be back here every every night, though, so we can meet her if she's here. Mm -hmm. We'll tell the, uh, the tribe here that we're waiting for a, a green one to show up. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll leisurely uh, fly around the area, sort of scouting. Sure. You know. like, take a take basically a circle around, like we go, go like that. Yeah, basically so begin to to scout. So in the in the camp's and... immediate. Yes. Yeah. Area. Just take a sweep. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something. Maybe. Uh, flying around here. Pretty much in the heart of the Cinderlands at day, that will require you to roll three fortitude saves. Nah, Maybe nah. we could just hang out. Nah, I'm just, I'm just staying here. I'm staying here. The water is quite pleasant, and so is the sand. As long as you stay in this in the mm. shade, that is certainly true. Sand. Uh, I'm gonna be in the water. But the noon sun is brutal. <sighs> Just so I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just laying next to Volnix in the sand, so his cold sh it cools the sand even more for me. It's like, ah. It's so cute, though. You're just hanging out here. Deliciously cold. He's, my, he's my AC, you know, my AC unit. 
splashing around. And if they drink it, I bathe in it. <laughs> the, the Oasis is technically getting a little bit cooler as well because Alphonics is like a drinking fridge. Cool. How, how do you feed yourselves? I dream about food. Yeah, I, we sort of do that. Oh, you, you, you're on, on that wagon too? Yeah. You seriously uh, you, can't hunt I mean, for you, yourself I mean, you, and Einavok's not I mean, there? Offered... It's in the middle of the desert. There's nothing to hunt. I don't, I don't I mean, you offered before. I sort of assume yeah. that the offer is ongoing. You can have dream food. I'm going to tell you if I don't have spell slots enough to dream food. Okay. I am an oracle. I have lots of spell slots. I mean, I, I have it's, some iron rations somewhere. Spells known. That's oh my god, guys. Really? Like a, like a sausage. Why would I hunt when I can eat like like um, amazing food? It's about pride. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's oh a, yeah, right. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. I, I mean, oh, I have oh. a valid excuse. I'm a white dragon in a desert. I don't, this is not my terrain. Ah, you know, that big one died. I mean, it wouldn't right. shouldn't take your chance. None chances. of you have sent either. None of you can sniff out anything. I mean, if we hunt something here, it's probably because it's so badass that we don't want to fuck with it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like a huge purple worm or something. You know, the horde of orcs. Mm. That you want to go back to well, that? <laughs> Last time we ran into them, some bad things happened. Stupid orcs. Oh. We hang out for a day. After a single day, Inovox will not yet have returned. Well, that's annoying. Well, I mean, it's a little, a little small pool. So is there any creatures living in here? Any animals? Uh, there are some minor kind of fish living in here. Looking somewhat similar to the to the scaled monstrosities that live in the river, so somewhat not, aggressive but not aggressive enough to actively attack. What are these, what are these a people here seem to be doing all day? Just hanging around? Like, do they go out raiding or? Uh, during the day, they mostly hang out in the tents under the shade, kind of in the water. Although they do seem to kind of distance themselves from the water whenever Rajax is in there. Which is all the time. Why would he go out? <laughs> They do seem to mostly travel around at night. Hmm. That makes sense. Coming back in the early dawn and leaving in the early evening. See, the reason we don't do that is because we'd have to sleep under the burning sun. So. Well, I don't. I need to learn, like, web shelter or something. <laughs> yes. Well, we, we can invest I in one of those, like, like uh, huts, magical huts. I know it has a tent. That's right, Amox has a tent. The ones with big bird feet that can run around with us. <laughs> no, it's 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 a it's a it's a miniature hut that you put down on the ground and say a command word and it springs up to a, to like a, a normal size hut. With like you a, want a that like a Roman legionnaire camp. That's pretty cool. Which reminds me of the instant fortress. It's it's, it's a it's a smaller it's an instant cottage. Cottage. Mm -hmm. What's that somewhere? Right, I know. I do like the intro of Fortress, though. <coughs> well, uh... uh T-Roxes I mean, will, will have spent the day... If, if, I mean, we're not gonna leave here unless Inabox is here. Like, at least that's what Mekai would say. We're not gonna leave. Until leave. we fight the dragon. Yeah. yeah. No. If Inabox is back and we have, like, a couple of days, then we might go deal with the camp, but... It's... I mean, it would still take, like, two days to get there and two days to go back. So mm -hmm. at this point... With five days left, we might just stay here for until Do the... Do we have five days left? There's yeah, so almost seven. Well, then it's six now. It's six, six now. to begin with. If you look to the top, well, to the upright, if you zoom out and look to the calendar, I have marked the dates for you. So five days. All right. Yeah, we're definitely staying here then. We couldn't go back and do anything there and come here again. Mm. All right, well, we have... A week of holiday in a tiny pool of water. We could still take like a day to fly out somewhere and do some scouting, but like this place is so massive, we're not gonna find anything. Just no. looking around, looking around randomly in the desert doesn't seem to be very. It's not really. It's not really so so fun to do that. It's tempting for Rakaiks either. Yeah. I mean, everything considered. Let's see, how long is it down there? It is well, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it'll be one day down. Uh, down to the camp. And then one day back. So, depending on when she comes back, we can we can certainly do a raid down there. We need a, a, a total of three days, probably, to, to do the raid and come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, and I'm, yeah, at least. Well, maybe the next day she'll be here. Maybe. Um, Tirax will keep an eye on the outsider lady, see what she does. She does very little, all things considered. She talks to her people, observes you most of the time, stays in the shade, and seems to generally just enjoy life, really. <laughs> I can actually begin at this point to be bored and begin playing games with the little fish. Uh, talk, talking them, talking to them. And, and saying that one fish said something bad about the other fish. and uh. <laughs> Scheming. Suddenly there's a, there's a huge fight <laughs> in the oasis. Huddling around. Is it like Enjoying. backstrokes? Yeah. It's like... Fish nibbling the playing. dirt from his feet. Mm -hmm. The fish king at this point. Mm -hmm. Usurp the throne from the other fish. Oh, definitely. Alpha fish. Um, if uh, when when Tyraxa listens to her speech and when she addressed them in common, did he pick up anything peculiar about her way of speaking? Particularly, does she have an accent? Uh, I think a linguistics check would be appropriate. Yes. <laughs> But I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe it's an accent Torox has recognized because it's an accent he's from before. Let's see here. Linguistics. Well, how about I give you an intelligence check? <laughs> sure. Yes! She is most definitely one of the Shuanti. Okay. Be nonsense. Yes, of course. <laughs> That said, her speech is different, but not so much in accent, but in word choice, mm -hmm. which might very well be a a uh, intentional choice to seem different to the others or whatever. Tyrexes wouldn't know. Yeah. She speaks words. <laughs> he nods sagely to himself, <laughs> tells Alvornix, she speaks words, Alvornix. But in... The early hours of the evening of the next day, the 11th, it would be. It does seem like Einavox has gotten your note. Mm -hmm. As just as the sun dips below the horizon and the air gets somewhat bearable. What does the note say? She returns. The note essentially just said, hey, Einavox, come here. Come where? To, to the camp of the outsider, to the east. Half a day east of where you got resurrected. Right. And now you're here. Sweet. Um. There. Me. Well, she will approach. Traxus is asleep. Under the sand, you see like his tail poking out. Well, it seems like everything is like it's supposed to be. You get some good drink. Okay, so look at her from below the water. I, I can see you. Yeah, you can see her as well. What are you doing? You have returned. She do not. Are you all right? She... Mm, a price has been paid. What sort of price? Well, if you look closely at her, you can notice she has some white stripes now. Uh-huh. What does that mean? She just looks down in the water. All I know that gets more and more white. Who's over and pokes 
at the sand where Shulraxus is. <laughs> Pokes his tail. <laughs> Sticking up. Yeah, exactly. He, he, the tail stiffens for a second as he like stirs. <laughs> I his head think pokes out. I never his back. Well, really, he cranes his head. Well, he crawls. He crawls up on the sand. Welcome back, Inavox. She nods. He looks. Looks around. Well, what do all of us gathered? He frowns at our Volnix. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, well, he can. If you look at her token, she has some white stripes now. She does? Yeah, if you look at her token. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Uh, here you go. Like webbing. Yeah, like webbing. Well, Taraxus is way too polite to say anything. The picture's right there if you want to see it. Mm -hmm. You're like a snow leopard. Mm. Well, now that we are all are gathered, what say you, my dear friends, that we go south and teach this Sun Clan a thing or two about dragons? Do we have time to do that and come back here? <laughs> Drax also yeah. looks, uh, looks at the calendar he has uh, etched into the bark of the tree. <laughs> I looks to the moon. The message was very vague. I'm not sure what it, what we're supposed. It to. would be if we fly now. We will, uh, we will attack the camp in the morning, most likely. Uh, that will take most of the day, maybe I don't know. And uh, then we fly back and rest on the 14th until the night, where we spring our attack. That should be enough. Maybe should then fly back here. If we get wounded, I want to be sure that we can. Well, be. Taraxus considers. I suppose so. I might need some explanation, for example, the people over there. Yes, yes, they are. They are tribal people around a strange woman. She, uh, she liked our words well enough and has agreed that she will aid, aid the fight if, if we rid her of a bit of a pestilence, a... Uh, a blue dragon, I believe, that comes here to demand tribute from her people. He'll be here at the full moon. We want to be back here so we can kill her. And, uh... uh take prisoner, I think the request was. She yes, might have take information. Prisoner. T take her prisoner. And so win the outsider. All right. You want to be here the day before she arrives. She arrives at dawn, I believe. So we want to have like a, a rest before. In that case, I suppose we can just wait here for the couple of days we have. I think that's the safe option. All right then. So be it. The oasis is very pleasant. <laughs> yes. Nods. I suppose it is. We could go and visit the Beast Wranglers. They're close. Ah, uh, let us not get involved in too much at once. Very well, then. <sighs> he sort of looks around. Well, I guess we are to gather our strength. And prepare. And then he goes down to sleep. Directors <laughs> bars down again. Going to the shade. I must say, the white stripe looks great on you. <laughs> Damn! Shots fired. Shots fired. T-Rex is going to move away from here. Uh, <laughs> under this tree instead. Um. She, she just nods. She looks a little tired. That, that old guy just wouldn't shut up. He has a habit of talking. Do you even know who he is? Somewhat. Do you even know what he plans to do there? I 
take that as a no. He's trying to revive that dragon he skull he is at. I know I know about that much. But who he's going after is the real question. His siblings. His siblings are the ones who did that to him. I the fear, arm, the eye. I fear that sibling may be an exaggeration or an understatement. One or the other. Well, he really likes you. Unfortunately so. Did Einarok see his dragon form? Or does he hunt in his human form? You might have caught a glimpse of it but not enough to really know too much about it. I'll just hang out in the sidelines so he has to go hunt. Well, interesting character. So we're going to kill a blue dragon. Correct. Subdue it. We are to, yes, indeed, subdue it and uh, question it. It might have information about Sunta and her forces and her plans. After that, Director shrugs, I imagine it will not live long. She nods. If it cannot be controlled, it is easier to just get rid of. We have enough competition as it is, do we not? Sure. Idawax looks a little, like, <laughs> a little down. I'll, I'll, I'll just... It's like, well, you, my, my human form has changed a little. A little? A little. Don't... I'll, I just want to get it out of the way and, and don't laugh at it. <laughs> Drax just poked his head up. Avonic looks very curiously. Beep looks at the human form and says, I see nothing to laugh at. My hair has turned white. A little bit white. Wait, give me, give me a second. To finish. I need to connect and see this. I'll just put my feet in the water. <laughs> So confusing. <laughs> All these feelings. There are. Is Anna having an identity crisis? She I'm is. Uh, her feel. Some of her feelings towards some other stuff she used to hate. She has come to like. Does she have a dual lessons now? No. no. <laughs> I didn't sound very convincing, but hmm. uh, so far. She is still a green dragon. She just happened to like winter. Okay. There's nothing weird about that. No, 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 no. no There's nothing weird about no, that. No, no, no. That's perfectly normal. It's perfectly normal. Yes. Sn snow is pretty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yes, it is. There's nothing it's, wrong it's, with liking winter. There's nothing winter. wrong with liking winter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Directors will nod little. very, <laughs> very compassionately. <laughs> it's a little hard to find a forest in, in the, in the where there's the, always winter. But <laughs> her lip trembles. <laughs> <laughs> forest. I... Amused smile on Arvonix looking at the human form, seeing the white strips of hair. Well, I already told the others, so I might as well reveal it to you as well. I'm afraid you're not the only one who can become a human anymore. All right, time to zoom in here. Uh, are we gonna bro fist? Uh, Drum roll, please. I might as well show it. If not, if not, I find it disgusting. That's one sec. I need it macro. <laughs> Ta da! Oh, oh, it's adorable. <laughs> Yep, Matt, you with the whole adorable thing from before. 
Oh, look at her Volnix. The Shapeshift thing also ends with him wearing a Mithril chain shirt. Is he, is he a little kid? No. Mm. Not a kid. Young adult? Yes. He looks the like Shuanti a... watching you from the other side of the oasis are very befuddled. <laughs> he looks tiny. Okay, uh, he we'll, looks we'll, tiny. we'll shoot them a glance from uh, under the water saying, yeah, we could be anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we see you, he spells in fishes. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> yep. I, knew, I knew you would enjoy it. <laughs> I know Box is gushing over Humble Lex. But she's just big, big eyes looking at him. He's like put, putting her hand out to, to touch his hair. It's like, I have to touch his hair. <laughs> then I can't move the token coming active mods. No! Terexus looks down to Rakayax as this scene you is can, unfolding. Unfortunately, because he's human, you can tell Arbonics is embarrassed by this. You can see blushing. Aww. Oh, give me a you have to keep my heart. <laughs> Nope. Nope, I, nope, nope. <laughs> I have a sword. I have a sword, damn it. I have uh, a dagger. We are trying to make I these people use. respect us. <laughs> you know, I never wouldn't know how to use a dagger if you throw it. <laughs> the kayak say something. He may or may not be enjoying it, but he's underwater. Nobody knows. <laughs> I'm very tempted to dive into the water. You're so right cute. Now. Well, he will instead uh, majestically rise up on the uh, on the side here, sort of shaking his his dragon dragon body off with the water glistening in the sun, stretching his wings, enjoying the majestic look of him. Mm -hmm. as, uh, the other two are fooling around as humans and shoot Torax as a a slightly smug glance. I'm obviously clearly not enjoying this. Torax is, yeah. He's just he's laying there in the sand, just looking at these people, and, and Get over he, here. he is he's like, yeah, he's, he's he, if he had a pillow, he would hide in the pillow, into the water. I would like to see you run from a from a cougar. In this content, it's kind of funny. <laughs> cougar likes water. You can't run from me. <sighs> You're so cute. I suppose we should be ready for when the dragon comes. The rest looks at them. Yes. <laughs> yes, we should. Perhaps In we should... a few days. That is. Yeah. I was thinking maybe we could go... Uh, see if we could uh, scout something out. A bit of a camp. Uh, I suppose Aww. we could. Now you look mean again. I prefer it this way. The other two can, you know, catch up on being white. Hmm... He nods. Very well. Stretch our wings, as it were. Yes, indeed. As he unfolds his wings <laughs> and with big flaps of gust of wind where, flies off. Wait, where are you going? Stretch wings. Stay here and keep, you don't... keep cool. Uh, frolic. Looks very upset at this. Uh, look, actually, fly out. Just, just, you know. Just like oh, God, this is gonna be awkward. A few oh. hours, leaving the others two. She would like free fortitude saves. How far do you fly? Do you just fly around Not a far. bit? With... It's more like uh, stretching wings, you know. Okay. Yeah, have some, fine. have some aerial mock combat, you know. We're, we're not really here to, to, you know, to pull that. Rejoice in the, in the air currents and being free. Yeah, if you just fly around like to stretch your wings, making frequent stops to to drink water, and generally taking it slow, I will not require you to make fortitude saves. We should probably inspect that hill. She's she's gonna land on, right? Maybe we can set a trap or something. Yeah, we can go there and take a look and see what it looks like. The looking uh, at the immediate area. Sure, the kind of cliffside, although that's really an extra exaggeration. She has pointed out is to the northwest. It's visible from the camp, but it's a bit of a distance away. And you can see a rather bland looking area, really. Mm, that's not much of a cliff. No, it's really not. It's slightly elevated, but that's about it. It certainly is a good spot to get a good look on the camp. Mm. 
Mm. Well, um, easiest for me is certainly to just burrow and then just pop up like a jack in the box and surprise it that way. But I don't really know where you guys would be hiding. Well, could we have them put a tent here or something? That they can, cover. can certainly do that. They do happen to have spare material to construct another tent like structure. Good. And that shall be done. It's it's transparent though. I'm not sure why. A ghost That's tent. A... <laughs> it's we can see who's inside. Oh, it's, oh. it's literally a ghost. There we go. And Rakai can sit in here. There we go. Right, the creature landing. The dragon's tent. We, call it's it. not a ghost dragon's tent. we assume it's going to land here on this outcropping. Yeah. That's where you would watch the camp from. Mm -hmm. So I would like be right here. Oh, we remember that it can probably it probably has tremor sense if it's a blue dragon. Mm -hmm. How big is this blue dragon? I, I, can, I can lie still. If I don't move, she doesn't sense me. How Are big sure? is this dragon? You. I mean, tremors... You need, something needs to move for you to feel it. Right. Yeah, that's that's how, how I envision tremor sounds at least. How big is this dragon? Uh, we don't know. Oh, should we come over there? It lands it like it's like this big. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie still here. Uh, <laughs> we we oh, we weren't right. <laughs> doing anything. Tick 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 tick. What? No, no. I'm just here. Hello. I uh, was just leaving. Yes. Should we come over there? By the way. Uh, no, no, you just. Stay. They left us. They left us behind to quote unquote frolic. We're just scouting. Oh. Seems like you were having fun. Well, I see the more correct way is me running away from you a lot. What is usually the tribute the dragon uh, exacts? Uh, to that question, she will simply say that it is too much for them to bear for much longer, and it mm -hmm. would. She would very much appreciate it if you took care of this nuisance. Right, I understand that. But what is the tribute? What is it? Goods? Is it gold? Is it cattle? Is it cattle? whatever it fancies at the time? Okay. So it does. It doesn't is have. It very, is it land. maidens? Yeah. Is it tents? I mean, that's a good tribute for a dragon. Is a maiden? That's like, yeah, that's what I need. Like a month? No, uh, yeah, probably not a maiden a month. We don't have any more maidens. You need like a quality maiden, like a princess. But, yeah, but but if you come here every month, you're gonna if that's your quota. Yeah. I mean, it's their problem finding quality maiden. No, I, no, that's you know, I would do a month. I would have like one quality a year, maybe. You know. Hmm. Mm. All next left me. Regardless, I think just around. sort of hang around until the the day mm -hmm. comes where you expect it to be a dragon. Sure. Uh, let's see. You can spend another four days of vacation then, just hanging around here. Mm -hmm. And when the fourteenth day arrives, uh, we'll... mm. hmm, hmm, mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Should, should we probably be together at that could, point? You know, can Turok just burrows around a lot. He's gonna he's gonna burrow underneath some of the tents, like from time to time, and see if he can pick up some gossip. Not really, not really from the Shwanti because they, you know, but from the outsider. Maybe he can burrow and listen into her talking. Well, she doesn't talk common to the others, so and all you will really be able to listen to is Shwanti. No, can I get a tongue spell? I, I'm honestly not sure. Um, Let me see if you can. If it if it targets touch person, because uh, if so, sure. But if if not, it's creature uh, touch. Ten minute, ten minutes. Okay, level. sure. I got a couple of those a day. All right, we'll we'll, we'll use those to spy in a little bit on on what she's like. talking about. We don't need them for food. So. Uh, how many would you? <laughs> how many spells would you dedicate to that purpose? Well, uh, since it's the days where we just kind of hang around, I'd probably do four a day. So, like... If need be, which is then ten minutes per level, which is uh, four so hours. So, yeah, around about four hours. Four 
four we can spend secret listening a day. Let's see. Roll me a d20 to Lexus. Sure. Perfectly oh, average. Okay. Higher. Roll me a perception check. Okay. Seventeen. That's what I perceive. Okay, you do overhear the veiled woman speaking to some of the Shanti, especially two of them who seem to be essentially her lieutenants in a way, her, her left and right hand. And the topic they are speaking about seems to be simply preparation for a raid of some sort. Mm -hmm. Raiding who? That's not being discussed. Oh. Our biggest raid? Uh, not very. From the talk, you could assume that it's essentially the, the fighters from this camp going somewhere to achieve something or another. Uh -huh. They're mostly t talking about tactics, which I don't think Lorexus would be too interested in. Hmm. Oh well. Not super in interesting. Yeah, you know, he'll, he'll pop up to the others and like, relay the information. Not that it's sure. much, much of an information, but there we go. I don't think they would raid the general or beast stranglers. It no. probably means it's against the Spire clan. Or it's down in the mountains or something. Or some small group that have no friends. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe an orc caravan. Maybe. Maybe. If there are any caravans out here. That's all you managed to hear in four hours for three days? He's to rex us. You are... Terexus Very shrugs. good at this, I must are, admit. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Impressive work. I can't help that she's speaking a lot of bullshit. <laughs> you also heard a lot of miscellaneous other things, such as some of the Shuanti trying to flirt with her, them discussing on how on um, which direction they want to take the camp in and plans for the future to which she just she waves them away, essentially, which you can't hear, but you can assume since they stop speaking. Didn't you say she was an old woman? We don't uh, know. You don't really know how old she is, but she does not sound too old. Well, well I haven't seen her. I guess then when are this dragon going to appear? I guess then we lay in ambush and wait for the dragon to pop up. Okay, the evening of you the... Guys should come in the tent. The 14th of cholesterol approaches then. I mean, you left us frolicking, remember? I'm gonna. Yeah, but not for four days. With the, Jeez. With the, with the I didn't know. How much time do you need? <laughs> Unlimited frolicking. <laughs> oh no, the worst kind. Mm -hmm. Should I be and out here on my own or should I be in with you? Because I'm thinking like a blessing of fervor would be nice. It's, it's, it's too hot out there. I'd love to do that, but I can't be under the sand. Yeah. I'd be under the sand, but my tail is poking up. So we can, we can reach the tail with the blessing. You can yank it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just a moment here. We, 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 it's just too hot out there. The sun once again dips below the horizon and very little happens in the first few hours. No. It's That's nice and cool. The, the air and sand does cool down significantly, however, the heat is still uncomfortable. Although it does get into the comfortable range for at least the Rexus. He likes the sand. So did we have a rough time when she usually appears? Was it when the full moon like, is high in the sky or something? Or is... I think it was whenever she damn well please. Oh, she doesn't have a set time. She she did mention it is most likely midnight. Okay. Pretty much exactly midnight. Can we then, prepare an age armor for midnight? Yeah, then then like half an hour of, out of midnight or something, we will do a mage armor. <laughs> Be prepared. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets a mage armor. I don't cast any other spells till they last a short time. Yep. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's say mage armor. Yes, everyone gets a major. Yay. It is dark after all. Mm, 
and one moment. And as the full moon does rise in all its glory on this cloudless night, as most of the nights have been so far, you see in the distance, although it is hard to see looking up the hill, that there are a number of light sources approaching somewhat your to your direction. And in these light sources you can see that there is a rather small, all things considered, although, well, your size, a small dragon seemingly leading a band of, well, Shuanti. They are armed, they are armored, and they seem to be following this dragon with some sort of gold in mind. Small? It's medium. Oh, okay. <laughs> A Rathian sized dragon. Forward! It's a fairy dragon. <laughs> fairy dragon. Dragon's fine. I'm not actually but, asking tribute, it's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbows for everyone! As it breathes. <laughs> Regardless. I imagine they ask, I imagine they ask hang out until off. they go to the hill, right? Yeah. Or until they go into a space where we can reasonably attack them. I don't think we want to have them talk and stuff. No. Not really why we're here. No. We're here. They, have, they seem to have, like, Sun Clan insignias. That would be a perception, and I would guess a knowledge history yay although both Inavox and Rachex would get a plus five bonus on that particular check as you've read an extensive amount of history about the the Chuanti at this point plus five yes I don't have history though so bam I can't actually check for it uh Inavox local you roll? maps Local could work, yeah. Okay. Anavox, could you roll me a perception check as well? Sure. Until the asshole could describe what they see to her. My perception is not bad. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. <laughs> That's a natural 20. Yeah, Anavox can clearly make out the, the markings. Also, I, I should have revealed the tokens, I'm sorry. <laughs> There you go. Inox can clearly make out the, the markings on the, these people, and they are most definitely Moon Clan markings. Moon Clan? They keep walking up to the lip of this hill, putting they their torches into the ground. So they should have been. They are, they are not the bad guys then. Now, what's going on? Well, we should talk to her then. Yeah. Well, you should talk to her, <laughs> or the blue one. Well, let's 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 give her a chance to to see what she says or whatever. So are we gonna approach? No, not yet. Do we know if it's a her? Yeah. Okay. They put on torches next to the dragon, as if almost making a stage, as the dragon simply sits there, waiting. So uh, I guess I'm gonna throw away our surprise round, guys. Turex is gonna talk instead. Start can burrowing I... up the hill. Is is Lavin in the air? Can I can I do that? Do you think that would be stupid? What would be stupid? Why to talk why, to why do we want no, to talk to them? Because, because they have Moon Clan insignia, not Sun Clan. Hmm. It means they might not be the bad guys. So I can talk to them. Sure, I'll have your, f I'll have your six. Dig out from under here. Enter okay. just the dim light. Okay. Looking, looking up there. I'm going. Ah, the raiders have appeared. Sad for you to know that this camp is now under the protection of the Moon Clan. You will say this in Shuanti. Okay. The dragon stands up from its sitting position, slowly walks forward, looking down on you from the hill, mm -hmm. says, Where's the blue one? Uh, 
You seek a blue dragon? Why? That is not of your concern. I would disagree. Then we can agree on disagreeing. Why do you bring Moon Clan warriors here? They are my warriors. And you serve Sunta then? That is not of your concern. Well, she does scan around behind her, next to her, obviously looking for something. The frown on her draconic features is clearly visible. Have you been here before? Of course. Now, let us skip this small talk and get to the point. Where is the blue one? Tell Rexus. <laughs> Let's skip that and instead say, who are you to ask? The dragon sits down again. I don't think it matters. Well, then we can be here for a very long time. Well, how can we give a name without receiving one? She looks towards her fighters in the backs, in, in her back, at her back, I guess, not in her back. All with weapons drawn, all with bows drawn, as she gestures towards you, and they will initiate combat. Sure. What? Like we were, it's not like we weren't ready for it. Yeah. No. Let's kill them all. Is it your girlfriend or sister or I don't know they might have been moon clan but they are no longer moon clan the yeah. third cousin twice removed <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's your third cousin Let's see this guy will uh... the thing is they can't really see you actually they can they have torches huh. can they shoot a bow while having a torch the torches are basically burrowed, uh, buried in, in the ground at the moment. You, you like standing torches. You said they put them in the ground? Let's just... Just get rid of this. This, long. this guy will shoot Rotax with his bow. And I believe that's a hit for six points. Rexus, you get to act as well. Right. You're not entirely surprised. No. Teraxus burrows up right here, uh, leaps out of the sand with a roar, and says, You seek Tilraxos, and he is here now. Reveal yourself, blue one. As he, uh, as he does, also breeds lightning on these fools. Okay. Who are the primary targets? Uh, down the line. So that is eight, okay. seven, and four, the primary targets. And the three others is secondary. Yep, three others are. I'm going to burn the dex uh, damage on this. Okay, they fail, so they take the dex damage. How much? Two? Three. Three. Three, Jesus. You're half your level. Trying dex damage to multiple targets is terrible. At some point, it's going to be 10 dex damage. Yes. <laughs> Per time <laughs> I do that, I can I can and, potentially be and thirty. And Inabox has it as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Me and Inabox together can can do some serious damage to things. I'm going to remind you that's ten deck damage, by the way. Are you, and, are and you, each time you fail, it gets it gets harder and harder to succeed. Yeah. Are you saying together we should rule the galaxy? Together we can cripple so many things. You get up here and breathe, and these thing these poor creatures. You know. You know the best bit? Once I get my breath weapon, I'll also be taking to taking breath weapon. <laughs> Everyone just dex damage <laughs> dragon. Uh, well, this guy will move like so. Does does the blue dragon react to Rex just springing out? Oh, she does. Turn? She turns towards you, and you can clearly see that her attention is on you. Remember, we have the Kinslayer uh, racial trait. You do. Most of us, anyway. You do. I don't. I do. Pokes you, 11 damage. Ow. I don't have Kinslayer either. 
That is actually good to hit. Holy crap. I know what's. What masterwork spears? Look at that. Mm, sweet. Oh, wait, I can fly. Yeah, fly, Animox. Because uh, should I do it to them over there? I'd suggest you try to get the dragon, because you have yeah. monstrous evil bite power. Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> brief on her, because okay. what, what has she ever done to help me? Doesn't have to make sense. Oh, I, I'll, I'll just move one more square towards so I can hit the last guy, too. It's an art to do this. Yes, it is. There. And Vox says, says while slowly positioning herself. Mm -hmm. like, let's no. see the angle. Okay, apparently I can't do that. Well, you could just breathe at them if you want. Yeah, I, just, I shouldn't really tell you what. I'll just breathe at those two then. Unless any of you can see a way for me to breathe. And then I'll breathe. I'll take your breath weapon. 30. Yeah, that's that's 35. That's oh, it's 35? Then no problem. 35? No, 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 no. That is one too much, is what I said. Oh, yeah, no. oh. yeah but you, you can hit those three. Again? Let's see, Wait. let's roll her save. She makes it handily. Do the dex uh, damage. <coughs> yeah, it is. Did a bit. Did a little laugh, right? Uh, of... I mean, the archer have succeeded. Can you roll me your damage? Uh, yeah. And for some reason, I don't have my character sheet. I'm so sorry. You have a macro for it, though, right? I do, but the I do not have one for the debilitating breath weapon. You Large don't need one for that. Just right. your, your breath weapon. That's why I do not need one. I mean, we could, we could add debilitating breath weapon onto that. If we wanted. We take eight. This guy takes sixteen and three points of dex damage. Dex damage. And it's this guy's turn, who will step forward and poke at Inovox. Uh, and he will power attack. Poke. 16 points. That should be a miss on Inovox. Why? No idea you ain't Mage armor? I do have a ma mage armor on. Do you have more than 22 on? I have 21. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, you don't have... Oh, right, yes, I remember now. <coughs> now it's her turn, as she will... What will she do? She will fly... Like, how much fly speed? Not that much. Oh, she will fly, like... So... And shoot a line of lightning at Tilrexus. Mm -hmm. She she does not provoke. She flies intelligently. Okay. She will aim it aim it like so 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 she doesn't hit her allies. Mm. I was and my attempt was to get in her allies so she can line me easily. <laughs> but yeah, it's difficult with the line. It's easy to hit. Uh, that's a reflex save. I do do I have a bonus against her because of the dragon killing thing. Dragon can get dragon uh, AC and to hit I think. You have saves. plus two. You have plus two to all saves against dragons. Okay, so that's twenty reflex twenty on that one then. Okay, that's a success. You take half of this. Plus two AC, plus one to hit, and plus uh, two to all saves. All right. As as the female blue dragon shimmering with the light of many wars shoots. Lightning, just like you would, although slightly more powerful, she would like to think, but it's There's not. no damage to Axos Absorbs. Okay. Avalnix. I mean, do you want to handle the um, blue one yourself, Axos? If you can help me mop things up, uh, that would be... I feel like going up to Archers. Yeah. I'll well, stay within 30 of the other two, because then I can give you another attack per round. But... Okay, okay. You know. Just that guy, <coughs> this guy can have. Is that close enough? He will be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So I will go ahead and bite at the spearfighter. 